American crane's bill or wild geranium was used for diarrhoea, canker sores, dysentery, irritable bowel syndrome, cholera, kidney complaints, bleeding, tonsillitis and toothaches. The wild geranium is an astringent and this can be used as a mouth rinse to soothe the pain from canker sores. The herb has a good amount of tannins and these combined with the fluids and possibly relieve the inflammation. It's used as a mouth rinse and then it's spit out. The wild geranium was used by several North American indigenous tribes to treat diarrhoea. The tannins in the crane bill likely account for its anti-diarrheal activity. The whole plant, but especially the root, is antiseptic, highly astringent, diuretic, styptic and tonic. An infusion of the whole plant or the roots were used in the treatment of diarrhoea, dysentery, irritable bowel syndrome, cholera, kidney complaints, bleeding and a wide range of other ailments. Externally it was applied to purulent wounds, hemorrhoids, thrush, vaginal discharge and inflammation of the mouth. The powdered form of the root is used to heal wounds and swollen feet. The fresh leaves are used to treat insect stings and used as a mosquito repellent. The crane bill is used to stop abnormal bleeding related to menstruation and uterine problems. It can be effective against the bacteria that causes tuberculosis. The wild geranium is a woodland herb whose roots were gathered as a remedy for an upset stomach. A tea is a good beverage to sip to soothe a sour or upset stomach. The leaves can be used as an astringent mouthwash or as a topical field medicine to wash wet weepy rashes and wounds. It was used as an eye wash and the powdered root was often mixed with other herbs and used as a compress on wounds and swollen feet. It was used as a remedy for mouth ulcers, inflamed gums and a sore throat. It was also used to stop hemorrhages. The plant was later used by European settlers in North America for diarrhoea, internal bleeding, cholera and sexually transmitted diseases. It possesses homeostatic properties and these can work as an agent to stop the internal hemorrhage. The herb was used for heavy menstrual bleeding and externally to stop bleeding and to heal wounds. The Indians used the dried powdered rhizomes mixed with grape juice as a mouthwash for children with thrush. It was also used to treat burns and hemorrhoids. The roots were boiled and used for toothaches or crushed and applied to piles. It was used to staunch hemorrhages in the lungs, uterus, bowel and stomach as well as being used for excessive nosebleeds. A lotion from the root was applied to runny eyes. The root was mixed with cayenne pepper and this was used for typhoid fever and cholera. In the 19th century the root was used as a remedy for gastric ulcers to relieve pain and perhaps to cure them. In Ayurvedic medicine the wild geranium was used for ulcers, diarrhoea, gingivitis, swelling and dysentery. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.